I'll find you as soon as I'm done. You do what you must. I told you, I will take no part in this. You must... Sarah Hawk. Mother Patrice? No longer. Titles change, as you have shown. Well earned, in your case. Kirkwall has the kind of champion it needs. What kind is that, exactly? One who is willing to fight when truth is challenged. You have been an inspiration. There are many disappointed with the Chantry. One day, we will be called to act. Schism, Sir Arhawk. It is inevitable, and I'm sure we will meet again someday. Make a watch over you, Sir Arhawk. Judgment will come. Maker's blessing, champion. Have you come to pray? Can you offer me your blessing? May Andraste lend you strength until you ascend to be with the Maker. This is a grave time. It is good to know you will face it in the Maker's grace. Is there some other reason you're here? Have you thought about which side you'll take? Between the Mages and Templars? Have you changed your mind, Champion? Recently, you seem to support the Knight Commander. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. The Maker created mages. Why doesn't he protect them? I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. I cannot tell you how good it feels for a spirit to fulfill its function. The waiting is over. I am finally seeking justice. And he is exultant. There is no ecstasy humankind can feel to match. Are you going to tell me what you did? You are Kirkwall's champion. You can better aid our cause in that role than by aligning yourself with me too closely here. You're scaring me. You sound possessed. I am possessed. And it's never felt better. Even justice bows to you for the faith you have shown us. A victory for mages will be a victory for you.
You've had luck on your travels. There's a letter for you. Strange how the messages never come while you're home. All mages are confined to their quarters. I think a few of these Templars escaped the fire in Starkhaven. They would all be at peace if Sir Ulrich had lived. Welcome back, my friend. My store has never been better stocked thanks to you. Although I have nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite welcome to bring back any rare specimens you may come across. I'd be more than happy to craft something just for you. It's the least I can do for the champion of Kirkwall. So good to see you, champion.
If you have any questions, talk to Night Captain Cullen. Yeah. This is a difficult time. Champion, welcome. What is this urgent matter you spoke of? There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more... difficult. I will do whatever I can. Your willingness to help does you credit. I believe the apostates are being sheltered by loved ones. It is understandable, but misguided. And very dangerous. Talk to these mages' families. Learn where they are hiding, and find them before they do harm. I know you of all people. Understand the danger such apostates pose. Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. The de Lancey's have a home in Hightown, but are often out during the day. They are generally home by evening. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown.
How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the First Enchanter on her arrival, and asked to take her place here. Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. The work of a moment. Talk about the circle. It's a prison. It's no different than anything made up. Champion! Could I interest you or your... in our order, I tell you. You can't trust anyone. The Knight Commander needs vigilance and obedience. Champion, I'm sure you know how much it meant to the Knight Commander for you to take her side against Orsino. But surely you can see the Knight Commander directly now, should you wish. What would you have of me? I believe one of my associates is plotting against the Chantry. Thank you, Hawk. This is the right thing to do. I have already warned both the Knight Commander and Elfina about the rebel Anders. We will be sending a force to apprehend him in Darktown soon. I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. You've had luck on your travels? May I say again how... 